Hello, Father James Kubicki here on this first Friday and Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. St. Joseph shows us that work, when offered to God, no matter how mundane, routine, or seemingly unspiritual, is of great value. Whenever people labor to support themselves and their families, they're carrying out the same responsibility that St. Joseph had. He was placed in the lives of Mary and Jesus in order to care for them, protecting and supporting them. God has placed people in your life as well. And Jesus said, whatever you do for my brothers and sisters, you do for me. You are feeding and clothing Jesus when you work to provide for others. By happy coincidence this year, our celebration in honor of St. Joseph the Worker falls on the first Friday of May, a day when we traditionally honor the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The work Joseph did as a carpenter to support his family was done for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Your work can also be done for Jesus as an act of love for him and an offering that will be for his glory and for the coming of his kingdom. This is part of what it means to be a good Christian, giving a fair day's labor for the wages you earn. In fact, this comes right out of the Bible where St. Paul, writing to slaves in his letter to the Colossians, said, Slaves, obey your human masters in everything, not only when being watched, but in simplicity of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, do from the heart, as for the Lord and not for others, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves of the Lord Jesus.